people of YouTube, today we're covering the complete installation of the 52-inch Rockport 2 ceiling fan by Hampton Bay. If you found this video, you might be stuck in your own installation and you're looking for some help, we're here to do just that. We've already unpacked the fan, we're going to go over all the parts and install this thing step by step all the way to turning it on and everything in between, so stick with us and we'll get you through it. If you want to, you can use the links down below to fast forward to any point in the installation and that way you don't have to watch the whole video and you can get on with your day. But if after watching the video you found it helpful, please click like and subscribe and that'll help other people find it as well. Now before we get started, let's just talk about the Rockport 2 ceiling fan for a second. This fan has some great quick fit installation features. It's got a slide on mounting bracket, it's got AccuArm blade arms with captive screws, it's got the quick install blades that attach in seconds, and all these features are going to make the installation quick and easy. It is an indoor dual mount fan, meaning that it can be hung from a standard flat ceiling with the included down rod, or it can be hung from a higher angle ceiling with an extension down rod sold separately. The fan does include a three light light kit and also includes the LED bulbs, but if you want to install it without the light kit, it also includes a switch cup cover so you can do that. And we're going to cover all this in detail along in the video. Now before we get started, just a couple of notes. You want to make sure that the electricity is turned off at the breaker box and at the wall switch. If you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, please consult with a licensed electrician. One other note is if you're hanging this fan where there is just a light fixture on your ceiling, you need to make sure that the outlet box is clearly marked acceptable for fan support. If not, you'll need to swap that out before beginning. So as you can see here, we've already unpacked the fan and we've opened up the manual to the parts page. We're just going to make sure that we have all the parts before beginning and that way we don't get stuck along the way. So first up, you have five reversible quick install blades. Just pick the finish that's right for you. You have five of the AccuArm blade arms with the captive screws. That's going to make installation easier. You have the slide on mounting bracket. That comes pre-installed inside the canopy and we'll show you on the first step how to remove that to get started. You have the three light light kit. If installing without the light kit, you'll have the switch cup cover. You have three frosted glass shades. Three LED bulbs. The ball and down rod assembly. The hardware pack. The hardware pack has the pull chain extensions, the plastic wire nuts, and the hanger and locking pin. And last but not least, you have the fan motor. Now just one quick note about the fan motor. As you'll see this label here, this is pointing out the screwdriver access hole. When attaching the blade arms to the fan, you'll stick the screwdriver through this hole and that'll allow access to tighten the screws of the blade arms. It's super easy and we'll cover it in detail in the installation video. So we have all the parts here, just some tools we're going to need. You need a Phillips head screwdriver. We like to have a long one and a short one on hand. We like to use a line voltage tester to make sure the wires aren't live before beginning. You'll need some wire cutters and strippers, some electrical tape, and of course a ladder. So we have everything here. We're ready to begin. Let's do this. The mounting bracket comes pre-assembled inside the canopy. You'll notice that there are two slotted screws and two standard screws located on either side of the canopy. Begin by removing and saving the two standard screws and then loosen, but do not remove, the two screws in the J slots. Once those screws are loosened, simply twist the mounting bracket and pull up to remove it from the canopy. This fan features a slide-on mounting bracket for easy installation. There are two slots in the mounting bracket that will align with the two screws in the outlet box. Just align the slots of the mounting bracket with those screws and slide to hold in place. This is just a demonstration of how it's done. To install the mounting bracket, use a screwdriver to loosen but not remove the two screws in the outlet box. With the flat side of the mounting bracket facing towards the ceiling, feed the house wires through the mounting bracket and align the slots of the mounting bracket with the screws in the outlet box and then simply slide into place. Then use the screwdriver to completely tighten both of the outlet box screws to secure the mounting bracket to the ceiling. Make sure that both outlet box screws are completely tightened before proceeding with the installation. Begin by first loosening but not removing the two set screws on the motor collar using a Phillips head screwdriver. Next, unwrap the wires and gently stretch them out. Once the wires are stretched out, 
it's a good idea to twist the ends together to make it easier to feed through the down rod. Next, gently pull the green ground cable from inside the ball and down rod assembly. Insert the ball and down rod assembly through the top of the canopy so that the down rod comes out the smallest hole in the canopy. Then, feed the wires through the bottom of the ball and down rod assembly so that the wires exit from the ball portion of the ball and down rod assembly. Gently pull the wires through. Then slide the down rod to the motor collar on top of the motor. Align the holes with the bottom of the down rod with the holes in the motor collar at the top of the motor. Use the locking pin and hanger pin included in the hardware pack to secure the down rod to the motor collar. With the holes aligned in the down rod and the motor collar, gently insert the hanger pin through one hole of the motor collar so that it exits through the opposite side. Make sure not to jam the wires inside the down rod. Once the hanger pin is through the motor collar, secure it by placing the locking pin in the holes at the end of the hanger pin. Finish the down rod installation by securely tightening the two set screws in the motor collar using a Phillips head screwdriver. Once the set screws are tight, you can allow the canopy to rest on the motor. If installing this fan with the included down rod, it's a good idea to cut and strip the wires before hanging it. To do so, measure about a foot from the top of the ball and down rod assembly and cut the wires. Then using the strippers, strip off about three quarters of an inch of insulation from each wire. Once the wires are stripped, twist each end to make sure that there are no frayed ends. Now the fan is ready to be hung. Before hanging the fan, it's important to note the slot in the ball that will engage the tab in the mounting bracket. When hanging, you'll insert the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the fan assembly until you feel the slot engage the tab. This is just a close-up demonstration. Before hanging the fan, move the house supply lines out of the way to make room for the ball to insert into the mounting bracket. To hang the fan, lift the entire assembly to the ceiling and note the location of the slot in the ball and the tab in the mounting bracket. Slide the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the assembly until you feel the slot engage that tab. The fan will drop slightly when properly seated and the fan will rotate no further. Begin wiring the fan by taking the green wires from the down rod and mounting bracket and twisting those two wires together. Once those wires are twisted together, twist those wires together with the bare copper or green wire from the house. These are the ground wires. Secure the connection using a plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Next, take the white wire from the fan and twist that together with the white wire from the house. This is the neutral connection. Secure the connection with a plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Then take the black wire from the fan and twist that together with the black wire from the house. This is the fan power connection. Secure the connection with a plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Finish the wiring by taking the blue wire from the fan and connect that with the red wire from the house. This is the light power connection. Secure the connection with a plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. If you don't have a red wire in the ceiling, Connect the fan black and blue wires with the house black wire. Once all the wiring connections have been made, gently tuck the wires around the mounting bracket to make room for the canopy to attach. Attach the canopy to the mounting bracket by aligning the J slots with the screws that were loosened in the mounting bracket. Then lift the canopy up, engage those slots, and twist. This will hold the canopy in place. Secure the canopy using the two screws that were removed and saved in the first step. Insert the screw into the standard screw hole and then use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten all four screws. Before attaching the blades, you'll first need to remove and discard the rubber motor stops that are shipped with the fan to prevent movement during shipment. Insert a Phillips head screwdriver through the access hole in the switch cup to be able to loosen and remove the rubber motor stops.
The AccuArm blade arms feature an alignment post that will align with the long slot in the base of the motor. Insert that alignment post into the long slot, which will align the captive screws to the screw holes. Insert a Phillips head screwdriver through the screwdriver access hole in the switch cup and tighten each of the two screws. Repeat this process for the four remaining blade arms. Once all five blade arms have been installed, it's a good idea to go back and double check that all the screws are completely tightened. This fan features quick install blades. There are three keyhole slots on the blades that will align with the three posts on the blade arms. When installing the blades, you'll align the keyhole slots with the posts and then press down and pull away from the fan to lock the blade in place. There's a spring clip mechanism that will snap in place when properly installed. This is just a demonstration. The blades are reversible, so choose the finish that you'd like and make sure that finish is facing towards the floor. Then align the keyhole slots of the blades with the post on the blade arms, press down and pull away from the fan to lock the blade in place. Repeat this process for the four remaining blades. The light kit attaches to the fan using three screws that are pre-installed on the light kit. Begin by using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove and save those three screws. Connect the wires from the light kit to the wires from the fan by snapping the easy plug connectors together. The blue wire from the fan to the black wire from the light kit and the white wire from the fan to the white wire from the light kit. When attaching the light kit, note the notched cutout on the light kit that will align with the reverse switch and the curved cutout on the light kit that will align with the pull chain of the fan. Gently tuck the wires into the switch cup and align the cutouts of the light kit with the switches from the fan. Push the light kit into the switch cup of the fan and use the three screws that were removed and saved to secure the light kit to the fan. Make sure all three screws are completely tightened. Remove the compression nuts from each socket. These nuts will be used to hold the glass shades in place. To attach the glass shades, slide the shade over the light socket and then replace the compression ring. Make sure the flat side of the ring is facing towards the inner edge of the light socket. Screw the compression ring onto the light socket. Make sure not to over tighten. Hand tightening is just fine. Do not use any tools for this step. Repeat this process for the two remaining shades. Install the LED bulbs by simply screwing them into each of the sockets. The pull chain extensions are located in the hardware pack and easily snap onto the ends of the fan's pull chains. Attach both pull chain extensions. For non-light kit installation, the rock port includes a blank switch cap that is held on by three screws that align with the three screws in the switch cap just like the light kit. Note the notched cutout on the switch cap that will align with the pull chain. Prepare the blank switch cap by removing and saving the three screws that are pre-assembled in the blank switch cap. Then align the blank switch cap with the switch cup of the fan and insert the three screws that were removed and saved to secure the switch cap in place. Then tighten all three screws using a Phillips screwdriver. The fan is controlled by pull chains. Pull the light chain once to turn the light on, and again to turn it off. Pull the fan pull chain once for high speed, twice for medium speed, three times for low speed, and once more to turn the fan off. The fan has a three-speed reversible motor. The reverse switch is located right above the light kit on the switch cup of the fan. Switch left creates a downward airflow for use in the hotter months to create a cooling effect. Switch right 
creates an upward airflow to pull warm air from the ceiling and draw it into the room during the cooler months. The factory default is for a downward airflow. Make sure the fan is off before attempting to reverse the fan's direction. Congratulations! The ceiling fan installation is now complete. Time to sit back, relax with a nice tall beverage, and enjoy your new ceiling fan. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe down below, and that'll help other people find it as well. And as we always say around here, keep it breezy!